are you letting imposter syndrome hold you back? It's crazy how many people I see explore the world, the amazing world of sleep consulting, and they're held back by this fear that, you know, this idea of, well, why is anybody going to buy from me? They'll see people out there and, and go, well, there's this person and then there's this person and they've got a big following or they're in the media and, well, why is anyone going to listen to me? I've, you know, I have no experience in this. I have no background. Do you know what? I could have said that. I could have said that when I started out, but I didn't because I believed that I could make a massive impact and help people in a way that nobody else could. And I'm doing it now. And I didn't have any former experience in the world of you know, children and, and consulting. It was, it was a completely new field and a new profession to me. But I learn and I learn and I keep learning. <laughs> and it's, so it's a, an absolute like non-starter if you don't believe you can. Just because you might not be able to today doesn't mean that you can't acquire the skill to go and do it. And it's one of the biggest things that stops people from progressing with anything. It's a, it's a belief that they, they, uh, they have a gap in their knowledge. They don't know how. Well, guess what? That's what we do at Seat Nanny Academy. We teach you how. We teach you everything and we guide you through it and we support you through it. So it's not like we just throw a book at you and say, off you go. We can actually help you and make sure that you can do it. Why would somebody buy from you? I'll tell you right now. You have unique gifts that nobody else has. You have a unique style that nobody else has. Um, one of my students recently asked me, oh, do you think that my style might be too abrupt? Or do you think that um, I need to be more like this? And I stopped her right there and I said, you go out there and be the amazing you that you are. You know, her style is different to mine, but that's a good thing, that's great. If she were trying to be me, then why would anyone buy from her? It wouldn't be authentic. It wouldn't create connection. It just wouldn't gel. But she will attract her target audience. She will attract her ideal customer because they will be the people who resonate with her, who are connecting with what she is saying. They will like her and they will want to work with her and they will feel like there is nobody else but her for them. In the same way that my clients feel that about me and the next person's clients feel about them. There is someone for everyone and you are the ideal person to guide someone on their journey and there are a lot of someones out there. So let that imposter syndrome go. Stop putting false beliefs and barriers in front of you from making something amazing happen. Because if this is burning away inside of you, and if you just feel called to this, and I always say that when you have um, an idea or, or something you wanna do and you just can't put it down, that is literally your soul calling and saying you need to do this. Don't ignore that voice and stop letting fear hold you back because that's all it is. Imposter syndrome is a form of Fear. Fear is sent to protect you. It's sent to keep you safe in your little bubble where everything's familiar, in your comfort zone, where you know all the parameters and outcomes and limitations. And when you're gonna do something new or brave or different, fear jumps in to try and keep you safe, but it can also stop you from doing amazing things. So have courage and don't let imposter syndrome hold you back.